Outside, I look like a crazy person. Hi, we are Sarah and Igor, two full-time travelers currently exploring Southeast Asia. Lao counts as one of the most affordable countries, therefore it was perfect to challenge ourselves and see how far we could get with only 10 US dollars. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our channel. As you can see by the title, today we are doing $10 challenge and today we're going to do it in Vientiane, the capital city of Lao. Because we are living a little bit outside of the city center where all the restaurants and all the tourists are located, we need to walk to save money, about 20 minutes. But also because of that, we are seeing a lot of really nice places like Patuxai Monument, which is right behind me, and this one, it's for zero dollars. The place is quite popular among the tourists, that's why the locals are really taking advantage of it and selling some really nice stuff on the, over there. I already bought something, not here, but yesterday. My pants, what do you think? If you're on a really tight budget and you can eat just whatever, or you like the Lao soup for breakfast, there's a morning market which is right behind this building on the other side of the street where you can grab a breakfast for like two dollars for two people. We've been there yesterday and if you want to see it we also did a vlog about it so it's gonna be in the description. Quite often you see the locals having the umbrella even if it's not raining. This is because they want to cover from the sun which is actually quite smart because sun in here it's quite strong and you also see the monks they are wearing orange and umbrella of course needs to be orange i don't know what's going on today but we went to first restaurant it was closed we went to second it was closed and this one is third one so finally we've got our breakfast and for me it's bagel with cream cheese and cappuccino and igor got his croissant with omelette and also cappuccino and for this we pay per person 375 375. Of course, once in Vientiane, we had to visit the Tat Luang Stupa, which is considered as one of the most important monuments in Laos and counts also as a national symbol. The ticket is 30,000 kip, and in our experience, it's always between 20 and 30,000 to get to some beautiful temples. There's not so much to do here at the Stulpa, but of course, once you are here, you can take a walk around the whole Stulpa, and while you do that, you can observe some really old sculptures and stones which were probably used for the original initial Stulpa, which was, by the way, built in the 3rd century, but of course, many, many times reconstructed afterwards. Along the whole hallway, you can see several paintings which explain the whole story from this stupa so how it was initially built how it looked who was responsible for it until the nowadays looks like there is a little bit more than just the stupa so once you leave the main building the main area where the stupa is located or even before you enter the stupa before the ticket office or afterwards depends if you are coming or leaving there is a beautiful area with some really nice sculptures beautiful buildings and also a cute garden. What a big tree. I don't know what kind of tree is it. Leaves are like this. And you can see all the Buddha statues around it. It's looking really nice. Look at that. Such a beautiful place. Dragon, all the lanterns. I, I believe at the evening it must look really amazing with all the lights. And look on those cute little houses. All the exploring makes of course really touristy so we need to buy something and because we are in Asia of course we have to wait before the monks are done with their purchase. We have some refreshments. One was 10,000 kip which is a little bit more than 50 cent. I can't wait to drink it. <laughs> Since this is our last day in Vientiane and also our last full day in Lao, we had to visit also the Wat Si Muang, which is considered as one of the most beautiful temples in the city. And it will be probably also one of the last temples for a long, long time because in the next countries we're gonna visit, 
they have a different religion or different culture so maybe we will see us in some other temples but I'm not so sure about it so let's enjoy this one one thing for sure they love the color orange in here because everything is orange red a little bit green and of course a lot of gold compared to the other places we visited in Laos Vientiane is definitely a little bit more expensive compared like to Luang Prabang or Bang Dieng but of course it's also the capital city so the whole infrastructure everything is more expensive but also here you can travel really cheap if you just visit the local markets you just go to the coffees where also the local people from Vientiane are sitting here at least in this beautiful temple we didn't have to pay anything as i said this one is really orange but it's also really colorful and a lot with a lot of paintings and i would say those figures like the one behind me are a little bit kitsch but somehow it's asia so it fits somehow perfectly here i don't know what's really going on but we hear all the time like honking cars so they are like honking like doo, 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 three times I don't know why they are doing but I think they are like blessing their cars for safe drives I don't know because one car we saw even a monk and they were doing some stuff praying I don't know how they actually did it but probably it's kind of a tradition to do that kind of strange honestly but mm -hmm. also very nice. If I would have my car here, probably I would also do it. We are running out of money. We've got four dollars left. Massage, it's five dollars. But after all this walking, I think we deserve it. So let's get it. Excited. One hour later. I swear the main purpose from my masseuse of this massage was to destroy my makeup and destroy my I was sure I took a picture. I went to the bathroom after I took a picture. I looked like a crazy person, but it was really relaxing. When we were planning our trip to Laos, we didn't know what to expect, if we're gonna like it, how it will be, what should we visit. But once we came to this country, we really felt in love because it is so amazing. It's really beautiful, the culture, the people, and it's also really affordable. By the way, did you know that 70% of Lao are mountains, which is crazy, but makes it also really perfect for some outdoor adventures as we had in some other areas during our trip in Lao. Fortunately, all the good things have to come to an end and with that also our time here in this beautiful country but we won't leave you without teaching you another Lao word or Lao sentence which is this time Lagon which means goodbye and with that said Lagon thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe smash the like button write a comment share all our videos watch all of them don't miss any of them because in each of them you can learn something new about this beautiful world and see you in one of our next videos. Thank you and goodbye.